Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Um, welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Just an update on the situation with the BBC Capita. You know, as I said, uh, still just getting over a bit of a cold at the moment. But uh, as I said, got up this morning uh, feeling a bit rough. But uh, there it is, folks. There it is. Is the letter, letter number seven, number seven. Number seven. This is letter number seven, folks. Number seven. I had number six last month, and uh, another month, and it's come again. Anyway, with this particular letter, as you can see, I'm going to open it when I get back to the studio, um, and uh, just do a full video on the letter itself. But you can see, it's got a crafty little window saying. 10 day window in a little window in the envelope how nice of BBC to just do that this has all been computerized letter put in an envelope just to say to, to, to 10 day window you've got a 10 day window meaning whatever they want you to believe a 10 day window to buy another license I have 10 days to buy another license which I don't need, folks. Why do I want to buy a license? I don't want one, you know. That's the way the BBC operate. And I can tell it is from the BBC because on the back, you've got their postcode, Darlington, DL, I think it's 38, whatever. Uh, it's their postmark on the back. Obviously, I've blocked out my details and my, 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 my own address. But I will be going through the letter with you. And... Uh, We'll see what it means, but it means nothing other than just throw it in the bin. That's all it really means, throw it into the bin. Because whichever way you look at it, uh, it's been seven months now, this is the seventh letter. I've done the decoration many, two years ago, and have done for the last six years. And I've had no real problems anymore with the, with the decoration, of course, folks. <coughs> Excuse me, but... Um, just got a really, really sore sore, sore throat, and um, really, it's really quite sore. But um, I'm trying to do the video. But as I said before, uh, I've done six years, and really, it's only the last seven months, which is letter number seven, this one, that I have letters again because I did the decoration, and uh, I was looking at the comments on my other video, which did quite well the other day, over 1,200 subscribers and likes, over 60 likes. Thanks very much, folks. For the likes because it means a big deal to me being a small channel to get likes on the channel and uh, thumbs up and uh, like I told you and uh, subscribes I've been 20, 20 new subscribers and I owe it to these people to do a better job than I've been doing really but gosh, I'm not feeling too good with the flu and that but as I said you know cold and flu this is what you get when you get to 70 at my age now around 70 you know you have good days and bad days and today I'm feeling rather bad, uh, just tired, and, and just just still getting over this cold. But anyway, that's my problem. But the BBC obviously eventually contacted me, and of course we'll go from here, we'll go through the letter together, and we'll see. Because the last letter said that I'm under an investigation, like the uh, Mexican bandit, you know, like a Mexican bandit, not playing a TB license, and like, like I'm a bandit, like I'm a criminal, telling me I'm a criminal. And of course, nothing's happened, folks. Nothing's happened. Just another garbage letter. But very nicely put, you know, in, in a nice window, 10-day window. 10-day window. You know, you know, we'll see what it means. It means nothing other than that, you know, just fear, which is what the BBC tried to run on. Like a Gestapo organisation, uh, uh, just come and scare you. Anyway, folks, I will uh, get back to you in a minute. Uh, so when I get back home and uh, open the letter, we we'll open the letter together. Have a look at it because it, it's it's nothing to worry about. It's just a standard letter they send out to you, giving you options to buy a license and give them some money. And you know, you're not you don't have to do that if you're not watching. You're not paying. 
it's that simple folks anyway i'll get back to the studio in a few minutes when i uh get this cough mixture and uh some uh, some stuff and uh, i'll uh, get back to the letter in a few minutes if you knew you're welcome to so many occasions i've got my letter from the great bbc of course as you know <clears throat> today was quite unexpected uh, that they uh, actually sent me a letter yeah and of course it's in the letter you can see the envelope it's got a 10-day window on the lender on the window you know <laughs> why they do these things the bbc they seem to say we've got 10 days to make up your mind whether you need a license or not whether i need to make up my mind is not nothing to do with them anyway but that's a welcome thing anyway so i suppose 10 days are not going to come anyway after 10 days they might come after that but it doesn't really matter because as i said with the letter as you can see it's a standard letter you get not too bad a bit of red writing a bit of this a bit of that and of course it says you know so many channels dear dear occupy now the occupy the of the premises there's so many channels now you're spoiled for choice and all the rest of it and of course they just want to make sure that you're doing everything right and making giving you a warning you're not watching anything illegal you know you're watching live television which they've got a monopoly on which i could tell you folks this is the, what you need to change yourself by just not paying a tv license anymore and um you know the five hundred thousand people doing the same as what i'm doing not paying anymore and of course as i said before if you're not paying you're not watching you're not watching live television you're making, you know you, there's nothing they can do folks there's nothing they can do about it so um, i'm just testing this bit of a setup at the moment in the studio i haven't got much time to i just got over a bit of a bad chest i've set some lighting up and maybe the microphone a bit better microphone and lighting and stuff and a bit better backdrop and stuff but as it came today this letter i wanted to go through it basically it's nothing to really to worry about because it can just throw it in the bin but as I said before, the way they do it is just to make you want to have fear. It's just a fear, a fear of you getting, you know, letters in and making you feel that you, you're doing something wrong, which you're not. I'm not doing nothing wrong because I'm not watching. I'm not paying. So it's, it's that simple, folks. So whichever way you go about this situation, as long as you know that when you open the door to them, you know what to say and there's nothing to fear from them to say no thank you do not require a license at this address and that's all because even on the letter now they've got they don't know who lives here there's no occupier they've got the occupier he's gone to the occupier again i've already given them the declaration over two years ago so if i wanted to ring them up they give me that choice to ring up why should i ring up because i've already told them i'm not watching i'm not paying so it's pretty pointless really but as i said we'll see what happens because when they come to the front door i want it documented here for you because it's the seventh letter number seven this letter is number seven i got letter number six last month and what did they say you're under investigation and of course in this letter it does say your good news is this 10 day window your the suspension has been suspended you know and the letter before that said it was going to be suspended and all the rest of it so it's just a way of, of sending you letters to try and make you pay uh for something that you don't want anymore and you know the fear of somebody coming knocking on your door and making you or trying to find you and stuff like this so it's all scaremongering basically folks and it's all documented on my channel here and uh that's where it's, that's where i've done it Anyway, folks, I want to thank everybody who's given me a thumbs up in the last couple of videos. Uh, the last one I did uh, uh, about the TV licensing got around um, a thousand views, 1200 views. It's still doing well. Thanks very much. But that's why I'd say the more likes you get, the thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. It's free to subscribe. There's no charges and stuff like that. It's not, it's not a, I'm not charging. I'm not making any money at all. I just want you to get the truth here. And this is the truth what happens at this on this on this channel. We go through truth, not hearsay or whatever. If they come knocking on my door, you'll be the first to know. And that's what it's all about. Anyway, we'll leave it at that now because I said before, I don't want to go on too long because I said I've, I've got to, you know, 
we will work out things together because you're better together as a community to fight these things because not only me there's 500,000 other people like myself who are not paying a TV license and so if you know you're not alone like the Royal Mail did all these people getting done with the Royal Mail we can do the same with the, with the uh, TV licenses stick together give us a thumbs up more people will get to know about my channel and uh, you know I'm, I'm coming up to 1500 subscribers which is great thanks very much and of course that's what it's all about letting people know what you can do to be license free like inspector c no no fines no no fines on your front door anymore and 2027 is the day that the, this will all change you know in, in two years in two years time the government will have to change this policy of, of the tv license may be scrapped you don't know if everybody just says no we're not paying that's it that's it folks anyway thanks thanks again for all the new people be great and uh, like I say, leave your comments because I've got a lot of comments. I was going to go through some comments, but I haven't got time on this video because I'm going to go through some interesting comments that I got. And, uh, you know, I've got over 50 or 60 comments on the last video, which is great. And I will go through them and just sort of just one or two things need to be sorted out. Anyway, folks, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. See you now. Bye.